Hello and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be working on magnetic force between two balls. And in this one, in universe C-137, Rick discovered a special form of magnetic force between two balls if they're put in his basket. So you have n empty baskets and you put um, balls in the baskets. And the magnetic force between two balls is the distance between them. So here there's distance of three and here's there's distance of three. And you want to minimize or actually you want to distribute the balls into the basket such that the minimum magnetic force between any two balls is a maximum. So what this means is basically you take the distance between any every two balls and you want to get the minimum number there and you want to maximize that. So in this case we have three and three so the maximum would be three. Or I guess the minimum would be three. Um, so that's for this one where you have three balls in these positions. I mean the second one you have two and you have all these positions so you just put one in here and one in here and then they're their distance is 999 in the sky. So how do you do this? So basically, um, it's kind of like obvious where to put some of the first few maybe, but then after that, it's kind of hard to say. Like you probably want to put one at the start and one in the end, but then how do you keep going? Like, is that some kind of divide and conquer? Do you, figure, do you just keep splitting the array and things like that? So it's kind of hard to know where to put items and also the constraints are um, n is 10 to the fifth which means you can you kind of need like a linear or n like a, n log n time solution so you can't really have like a two dimensional dp or anything like that but this is kind of similar to yesterday's problem where let's say we just have this array right so let's say we have this array of positions so we just have like let's just say these are our positions actually and let's just say we have like four balls and let's say we want a distance of three so we want a distance of three um, and we have four balls and we're trying to place them. And we're, instead of figuring out like where to put them, let's just say like, is this possible? So we have four balls, we want a distance of three between all of them and is this possible? So the way to place balls, kind of like yesterday's problem is you can just place them greedily. So you would just put like one ball here. Then you want to make sure the second ball goes in a distance of three away, which is easy because we can just record the previous place we were at. So like basically we would just record this zero here. So we'd say like, okay, we have a ball at position zero. And then we go over here and we say like, okay, is this distance and position zero three apart? No, it's not. So we can't put one here. Is this three apart? No, it's not. Is this three apart? Yes, it is. So we put one here. So we'll put a ball over here. Then our new last distance now, so we can write that down like last or something equals three. Then we check, is this and the last far enough apart? No, is this? No, is this? Yes. So we can put one here. Now our last distance becomes six. And then we can't, we can't, we can. Then once we place four balls, we just return like a Boolean. Like were we able to place four just greedily, just putting them in like as soon as you can, if you can return true. So in this case, you would return true. So for a distance of three with four balls, this was possible. So we're trying to place four balls, this is three, this was possible. And this would be like the, the minimum maximum, or the, you know, the, the minimum force is three. So, yeah. Now, there might be some indices missing, so you might have to place things a little further apart, but basically you just, you just try to put in greedily. As soon as you can put one in, you just put in and you keep going. So this is possible. So if this distance is possible, that means smaller distances are obviously possible because if you put balls closer together, they don't need as much space, right? So if you could put them in with a distance of three, then a distance of two will be possible, a distance of one will be possible, and so on. But we're trying to maximize this number. So if three works, then we don't care about one, two, and all that other stuff. Similarly, let's say a distance of 30 worked, then we don't care about like one through 29 because we're trying to maximize this guy. So if this worked, if this was true, then these don't care and we can just look at the higher ones. Now, if this failed, then we know that 31 and up will fail, right? Because as you increase the distance, it's harder and harder to put the balls. It can't be easier. So if this fails, that means all these fail. So now you just look at this side. So this is once again a binary search where what we can do is we can just try to maximize the distance and we can just have a function where we sort our um, spaces where we could put the balls and we just put in a distance that we're trying. And if it works, then we're gonna record this as our current best and try bigger numbers. And if it doesn't, then we're gonna try smaller numbers. And then the best number out of here will be the answer. So it's binary search just like yesterday. Now what um, what do we want like 
to have our constraints be like the left and the right. So as long as you have, like it tells you here that M is less than position length. So a distance of one would always work. Like assuming you have enough buckets to put the balls, a distance of one would always work because distance of one just means like you put a ball in every single bucket like this maybe. And these buckets can't be less than one apart. So that's gonna be the left bound. So the left bound of the binary search will be one. Now what's the right bound? Now you can obviously use like 10 to the ninth, but what's a better number? So the biggest distance you can have is the first location and the last location. So we can just store, like once we sort our array, we can just say like, okay, what's this guy? What's this guy? And the distance between those is gonna be the maximum. So whatever that is, that's gonna be our maximum. So like in this case, it would be this guy minus one. And those are gonna be our bounds. And then we can just binary search through all the possible um, like distances and then just return the biggest guy. And that would give us a solution that, um, so it's what we sort the array, which is n log n. And then we binary search through the distances, which are these guys here. So it can be up to 10 to the ninth. So this can be like m, or I guess it would be like, we would try all of these, so log m. And then for each one of those, we'd have to go through n. So it'd be like n log m, which is fine. And so that's what we're gonna code. So we're gonna sort these um, positions and then we're just gonna try days or try distances. And if it works, we'll try a better one. If it doesn't, we'll try a smaller one. So let's do that. So let's first sort our positions. And this is very similar to yesterday, I think. The main, the main like hard thing about these binary search problem, like 50% of it or more is just figuring out it's a binary search. And then the coding part is pretty straightforward. Okay, so let's make a helper function that will take an array, um, the number of balls we're trying to put in, and then the distance they have to be in, and then we'll just return a Boolean if it's possible or not, just like yesterday. So private Boolean can place, I'll take position, take m and it will take distance and then what we're going to do is we're going to place uh we're going to say that the start the last location is just going to be like min integer or something just to make sure that we can place so let's do that so we'll say i think min int is negative i guess we'll find out or we could always place a ball at the first location and then go from there i guess that works as well so maybe let's do that yeah so we'll say like uh int result equals one and then int, or I guess let, let's try it, let's try it, let's try using the, the min integer. So int last location equals, um, so this is, let's put in this, I think it's like integer min value or something. And I believe that gives you min value. I think that it just gives you like negative infinity or something. Okay, and then I think that's all we need. So now we're gonna go through our positions and make, see if we can place it. So for, int location maybe in position um, if location minus last location if this distance is greater than or equal to distance then we can place here so then we can say our result plus plus and um, last location is this current location and then at the very end we can just check uh, return result greater or equal to um, m, because we tried to place m balls. You could also return early if you want to, I don't think it'll really matter. So if we were able to place m or more balls, then we're good. Um, so that's what we need here, this position. Um, then what we need to do is we need to get um, the, let's see, yeah, so then now we need to get the left and the right bound. So int left equals position, actually, let me think. Would it be position zero? No, it wouldn't be position zero. I think it would just be one. Yeah, I think it would just be one. And then right means you place a ball at the start and the end. So that's where you would do it. So int right equals position, uh, position length minus position zero, right? So if you place one at the start and the end, that's the base distance you can have. Okay, now we'll just say result equals one and we'll try to maximize this. And we'll do a binary search. And pivot equals. Now this might get like an overflow or something. So we'll see what happens because like the position length, I don't think it will, but we'll find out. Um, so int p equals uh, left plus right minus left two. If p 
can place. So this is like the distance we're trying. So that we'll pass in position, we'll pass in M, we'll pass in P. If we can place with this distance, that means that we should record it because this is our best result so far. So int equals P, and then we'll try bigger numbers. So left equals P plus one. Otherwise, we'll try smaller numbers. And we just return result at the end. Now let's see how it goes. See if we get any issues. Okay, so we're getting one. So yeah, I do think it's somewhere here. Location. Oh yeah, I think what's actually going on here is um, location minus last location is overflowing. Because if this is already like the biggest value you can have when you minus when you minus it, it will add, it will basically add the positive version of this, which will overflow. So we can do this, or we can initialize it to something else, but I think this should solve it. Yeah, let's find out. And then this would just can't convert to a long, so it'd be fine. So I guess, yeah. Okay, and I think that's good now. Okay. So yeah, this is pretty efficient, and yeah. Okay, so let's do the time and space. So we're sorting the position, which is on log n. And then for every single um, like distance we try up to, uh, I think this is like maximum. Yeah, I guess this is basically like the maximum of position is gonna be the um, like biggest you can try. So this is gonna be like max position or something. We'll be doing the log of this because we'll be trying all of these numbers and then for each time we do that Then we do we we run through the whole array and something like this and then space Is of one because we didn't use anything else. We just handle all this stuff in place You can like place stuff in an array if you want to but it's not necessary You can just write down the last location you placed at and that works Yeah, so very similar problem to yesterday and like I said the biggest thing is recognizing it's a binary search and recognizing when you place the balls, you just want to place them greedily and that's always going to be best. And I think there's like a can place flowers or something, which is like basically that problem if you want to look into that. But yeah, um, if, you, if you're not sure if it's best to always place them greedily, you just try to come up with a counterexample and then you should realize that you can't. Yeah, that's going to be all for this one. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.